Bootstrap for Quick Start. So this video will actually guide us on how to start with Bootstrap 4. And below here, below I have placed a link wherein you can download Bootstrap, which I will be explaining later. So Bootstrap 4. Bootstrap 4 is the newest version of Bootstrap. Actually, we already have Bootstrap 5, but it's still in its beta version. So it is the most popular HTML, CSS, and JavaScript framework for developing responsive mobile-first websites. Bootstrap 4 is completely free to download and use. Bootstrap is a free front-end framework for faster and easier web development. Bootstrap includes HTML and CSS base design, uh, base design templates for typography, forms, buttons, tables, navigation, models, image carousels, and many other, as well as optional JavaScript plugins. Bootstrap also gives you the ability to easily create responsive design. So these are the things that we are expecting from Bootstrap. The Bootstrap for CDN, or the Content Delivery network if you don't want to download the host bootstrap for yourself you can include it from a cdn max cdn provides cdn support for bootstrap css and javascript you must also include jquery so what i have here is how you use the max cdn <coughs> excuse me <coughs> excuse me so what you're going to do is just include this code inside your head slash head uh, portion of your HTML file and this is actually uh, retrieving the library the framework the CSS from the internet itself so as you notice uh, we're given the URL of the bootstrap jQuery etc another another uh, JavaScripts or libraries we can also download bootstrap so if you don't want to use the CDN, you can download Bootstrap and you can download it from the getbootstrap.com or you can download the zip file, Bootstrap zip, from the link provided in this video. So I have here given the link and also the link is placed in the description of this video. And uh, I suggest that for, your, for studying purposes, you download this bootstrap zip because I have already given some templates and we can just make use of these templates installing the downloaded zip file so what you're gonna do is to create a folder for example we can name it as web dev and then extract the zip file inside this folder so after you download the zip file you copy the zip file inside the folder and then extract the zip file inside the folder Now, how do we create our first Bootstrap web page? So, using any text editor, so in my case, I'm using Notepad++, you can open the file template.html. So, this is included in the zip file you have downloaded a while ago. So, as you notice, I have printed now my template. So, every time you're going to start creating web pages using Bootstrap, you can just use this template and then just rename it later or you just save us so that you can save it using a different file name so how do we create a our first page so again so inside the body you can just type this so div class equals container i'll be explaining container later so but from the word alone we know that it's a container class then h1 we have a class text primary so these classes are actually from bootstrap so these classes were given by bootstrap so hello bootstrap and this is my first bootstrap so wrong spelling <laughs> bootstrap page sorry about the wrong spelling and then if we launch or run a program then it should be our output so you notice uh, it's not using the same the font the default font of HTML because again when we use Bootstrap we already have the CSS 
we are given the JavaScript, the jQuery library that we can use for our web pages. So bootstrap display headings. So display headings are used to stand out more than normal headings. So that we, are, we can have larger font size and lighter font weight. And there are four classes to choose from. Display 1, Display 2, Display 3, and Display 4. So for example, so they can look at our code. So inside the class container, we have H1, that's the normal heading. And then we have P, the paragraph. And then below that, we have again H1. But this time around, H1, we have different classes for H1. The first one, so here, I'll be pointing it with, uh, with, our, with my mouse. I use the display dash one class. And then on the second H1 or for this group, the second H1 for this group, I use display H, uh, display two, display three, and display four. So once you produce the output, this will be more or less the output. So the display headings, this is the normal heading and this is the paragraph this is the paragraph and so we have bigger font for display one display two display three display four but again uh, with lesser font weight so unlike the usual heading wherein it is uh, bolder then bootstrap colors so bootstrap 4 has some contextual classes that can be used to provide meaning through colors so the classes for text colors are text muted text primary text success text info text warning text danger text secondary text white text dark text body and text light so below are examples of the output if we use this contextual classes or these classes for colors bootstrap background colors so similarly we also have background colors so the classes for background colors are bg primary so that's the first one here then bg success this is the second one and bg info the third one bg warning the yellow one bg danger so we have red bg secondary we have this gray and bg dark so dark gr dark gray and bg light we have light background then we also have what we call containers so we have seen in our code that we've been using containers so containers are used to pad the content inside of them and there are two container classes available the container class provides a responsive fix with container and the container fluid class provides a full width container spanning the entire width of the viewport so there are no more or less there are no margins margins for container fluid so how do we use that? So we have seen this code a while ago, div class equals container. And then we have inside, we can have our code and then slash div. Or we can place a div class equals container fluid and then inside will be our code and then slash div. So to demonstrate, I have here div class container and I place a background so that we, more or less we can see uh, this portion and then I place here H1 text primary University Blazon and then the paragraph web development class first semester and then I have another container with different background BG primary and then another H1 but this one I use display one and then text light so College of Computer Studies so if we run this one our output will be similar to this one so I have a university zone, and then this is my paragraph, and this is the next H1. And you notice in BG warning, it's yellow, the background is yellow, and BG primary, something uh, somewhat bluish color. Now, I made some revisions with my, with my demo. So this time around, I place here P-5 is actually for padding so the, uh, there are several paddings 
or default paddings by bootstrap so p-5 is an example so notice we have here a different padding for our container and then here I have margins 3 so maybe the space between these two containers and then padding also of 5 so that's the revised code so with that we can see that we can now start using our bootstrap uh, framework so that's all for this video and you watch the next video for more tutorials